Good morning, good morning, good people. All right, based on the background, you know where I am. Listen, I don't own the rights to this song, but I like this song. Do what you're famous for. This is by Torin Wells. Okay, today is Friday, the end of the week. Uh, I love weekends. I hope I can ride my bike this weekend. And then I prep for my Sunday's meal. As you guys know, I love to cook, love to cook. I like to cook healthy. Okay, so let me finish, continue with what the thing. The five genetic SNPs that influence behavior. We talked about cytochrome 1A2, um, and 1A1, 1A, and 1B1, um, which is a gene that helps you to detoxify, okay? Gene that codes for an enzyme, okay? That helps you to detoxify. The APOE, and remember the risk allele was anything with a four, two, four, three, four, 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 all right? Increases your risk of um, dementia, all right? Which we call type three diabetes. The few two was the last one we talked about. And I am a non-secretor, okay? I, I'm heterozygous for three of the ones that they screen for. Which means I don't secrete my blood type on my, um, my bodily fluids, all right? As such, I tend to have lower bifidobacterium, um, which is a, a bacteria, which is a good one that we, we need to consume um, and embrace. The next one is the human leukocyte antigen, HLA. And there are a few of them, and we all, we all have HLAs, human leukocyte antigens. And, they, and that one, genetics is very, it can be very confusing. But I'm just trying to break it down a little bit. I screen all my clients for this particular one, DQ2 and DQ8. Those are ones that have been shown to um, confer a greater risk for something called celiac disease. Celiac disease, C-E-L-I-A-C, disease, is an autoimmune condition that is triggered by the consumption of, wait for it, gluten. <laughs> so when we consume gluten, if you have that particular gene, DQ2 or DQ8, and you inherit one copy from your mom, one copy from your dad, you can actually have both, DQ2 and DQ8. Okay, And what the lab does, it confers based on the penetrance of that particular gene, it confers a risk, confers a risk factor for developing celiacs. The highest I've seen was 14%, right? So when you consume gluten, what that does, it triggers this particular antigen and increases your risk for developing gluten sensitivity. Um, and it can get to the point where then you develop celiacs. You don't wanna develop celiacs. So the, the intestinal uh, lining the endothelial lining of the intestines looks like a shag, shag carpet, okay? And one thing it does, it allows your body to absorb your nutrients, all right? Well, with celiacs, if you develop celiacs or even gluten sensitivity, what happens is the shag carpet then is denuded, all right? You're not absorbing your nutrients. You have, you develop what's called a leaky gut increased gastrointestinal permeability. <sighs> Over time, that can increase your risk for cancer too. I had a patient who had the DQ um, gene, I don't remember which one, all right? And she has some antibodies that made me think she had a leaky gut. Well, as I'm going through her history, her mom died at the young age of 40 plus, I don't remember exactly, of stomach cancer. I told her, listen, I believe your mom had celiacs because this particular patient, as she become, became more aware of her body, she noted whenever she would eat gluten, all right, she would have stomach pains. I'm like, well, why are you still eating it? So I hadn't seen that particular patient in a while. Hopefully um, she's still around and hopefully she's begun to change her lifestyle. So ask your doctor to check your human leukocyte antigen, okay, HLA, HLA DQ2 and DQ8. That's a marker on the lab. All labs, lab core quest can do that. You just gotta ask your doctor. Cause that's not the typical thing that providers will obtain until you get to the point where you're 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 down a hole regarding your health. Don't wait till you're down in a hole. Be proactive. Wait a minute, 
the squeaky wheel gets the oil. All right. I pray that God will work through your lives and he will do what he is famous for. You just got to believe, people. You got to believe. Faith without works is dead. All right. Let me finish focusing on doing my exercise. Listen, you know I love you. <laughs> All right, Dr. Higgy, signing out. Bye.